This video is disturbing. It reveals the double standards of the ruling class. We've all seen or heard of cops getting off for violating laws the rest of us are extorted and or thrown in a cage for. This incident takes place in Virginia, where a sheriff's deputy has pulled over an off-duty cop who admittedly has had a couple of drinks while celebrating a birthday with his friend. I'm showing this because it reveals the above the law attitude of these order followers. Then, once it gets to the point an infraction is going to be issued, he uses his inside knowledge of the process to make it hard for the DUI charge to stick when it does go to court. Watch the video and see how it goes down. And while you do, remember to upvote, reblog, and share this on all of your social media. Subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment sharing your thoughts on the subject. Midnight on September 27, 2019, an SUV is pulled over for speeding on Broad Street near 288. You're going 65 miles per hour. That's 20 miles over the speed limit. Deputy Terry Russell would soon learn the man behind the wheel was a fellow member of law enforcement. Where are you coming from? I was hanging out with a friend of mine tonight. What's that? I was hanging out with a friend of mine tonight. It was his birthday. Henrico Police Lieutenant Russell Hockaday was off duty at the time. I've had a couple of beers. Uh, I'm not I'm, I'm okay. Do you want to do the breathalyzer? No, sir, I didn't. Put me in a tough spot, man. I'm just trying to get him up. So the thing is, I can smell the alcohol coming out of here. You're going 20 miles over the speed limit. Uh, that's the tough spot that I'm put in. Body cam footage. So I just want to stop this real quick. If this was a regular person and not one of the ruling class, an enforcer for the ruling class, one of these order followers, we'd already be knee deep in this investigation. He wouldn't be having this cordial conversation with us. He'd be telling us he smells alcohol and he's going to be trying to get us out of the car so we can do a breathalyzer, a field sobriety test, or a blood test. Uh, that's all there is to it. These guys are trained. They don't care. They're going to get you out of that car. They're going to get you the citation because to them, that's what justice is. So I want you to pay attention to what the off-duty cop does here, how he kind of tries to delay in the things he does to try to make it so this investigation that the sheriff's deputy is conducting uh, isn't effective in getting a DUI conviction captured that night shows Russell asking Hockaday if he wants to do a field sobriety test. I'd rather just drive home with my wife and kids. I mean, i got to figure out where you are, man, before I can send you off. I mean, I understand what you're saying, and I'm trying to work with you, but the fact that you're going 20 miles over the speed limit and I smell alcohol coming out of the car. Hockaday then makes a request. I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what you want me to do. I'll call a ride. I can do field sobriety tests, otherwise you got to call a ride. All right? I'll call I don't want to have you doing all... Let me just call a ride, and then we don't have to go through all that. I don't want to put you in position. You already, you've already put me in the position. Deputy Russell then turns off his body camera to call his supervisor. The Goochland Sheriff's Office says that's the protocol anytime another member of law enforcement is pulled over. But Russell would forget to turn it back on until the final field sobriety test the nine-step heel-to-toe walking test. As you can see, Hockaday stumbles on the fourth step and the first step after his turn. To me, that indicated that there was some. I also just want to say he did not do the turnaround. I have watched numerous, very many DUI field sobriety tests. They are very particular and specific that you are supposed to take nine steps. Uh, you pivot on, I can't remember, left or, right, left or right, whichever one. I think it's your lead foot. You pivot around that, and then you start walking back. You don't get to turn around the way this off-duty police officer did. So already he's getting special treatment uh, that the rest of us wouldn't get. A degree of impairment. That's Goochland County Commonwealth's attorney Mike Caudill, a former police officer himself, who decided to move forward with the case. The evidence supported the charge, and we let the judge decide. 
evidence like bloodshot eyes, the smell of alcohol, and Hockaday's eventual admission to having five beers since 7.30, according to the prosecutor. Plus, Caudill said he trusts Russell's judgment. In fact, Russell... So I just want to point out as well, most states have a law, like in Washington State, there's an RCW uh, that establishes that it's a crime to give a false statement to a public official. So right there, there's another crime that the rest of us probably would have gotten stacked on top of this DUI because originally he said he had a couple of beers and now he's admitting he had five. I just want to point out all the things that we would get held against us that this guy is getting off pretty, pretty easy on during this incident is considered one of Central Virginia's top DUI officers, receiving the Mothers Against Drunk Driving Law Enforcement Award in 2017, 2018, and 2019. He is experienced, he's professional, and his credibility is above reproach. Do you think it's appropriate for somebody who works in law enforcement to ask another member of law enforcement for a professional courtesy? Yeah, that's a tough one. I mean... I, I hate to use the cliche, cliche, it doesn't hurt to ask, but um, it's a personal thing that somebody does that, you know, um, that, I mean, I, I just, uh, I'm not going to take a position either way on that. It's, uh, but I do it now. Russ so this is why I say there's no such thing as a good cop. Everybody knows what that cop did was wrong. Yet, this guy who used to be a former cop and is now a prosecutor, he doesn't care. He doesn't want to take a stance and say, what that guy did, he shouldn't have done that. Now, he does at the very end admit that he wouldn't have done it, but he doesn't come out and say, no, he shouldn't have done that. If it was any one of us, I guarantee you he would be trying to find some other crime that he could charge us with even though there is no victim to it. Soul arrested Hockaday around 1.17 a.m., but shortly after... He said he had chest pains, and the deputy did what he was supposed to do and took him to the fire station and rescued, took him to the hospital. Now, this is what I want you to really pay attention to. This is how this off-duty officer knows the situation, and so he can manipulate the situation to try to make it so there's less and less evidence against him to convict him of this DUI, and that's what he's doing right now. This is something the rest of us don't know about, but because they're insiders and part of the ruling class, the enforcement unit, they know how to do this stuff. According to the sheriff's office, Hockaday requested to go to Henrico Doctor's Hospital 30 minutes away from the fire station in Goochland. After being checked out by hospital staff, Deputy Russell told Hockaday he wanted to give him a blood alcohol test because the breath test was not available at the hospital and he felt a blood test would be more accurate. Hockaday refused, saying he did not like needles and said he wanted to take the breath test. No breath test was conducted, and Russell charged Hockaday with refusing to take a blood test. Now, do you think this is an example of somebody who works within the system, who knows how it works, using that knowledge to get out of something? Um, does it happen? Yes. Did it happen in this case? I, I'm, I'm not going to speculate. It's, uh, my job was to bring the case to trial, and, and we did. And, in December, a district court judge found Hockaday guilty of DUI, but his attorney, Craig Cooley, immediately appealed. Eight months later, on August 4th, before Goochland Circuit Court Judge Timothy Sanner, Cooley presented his defense, saying that Hockaday did not slur his speech that night. He was cooperative. The deputy did not observe any bad driving other than speeding, and the footwear Hockaday was wearing, Crocs, may have contributed to his stumbles. Judge Sanner agreed with Cooley, said Hockaday looked okay to the court, and found him not guilty. And he said that the evidence, while he uh, found the officer's testimony to be credible, uh, did not support the uh, guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. Specifically, the judge cited the lack of a breath or blood alcohol test and said Hockaday's drive... So the fact that this off-duty police officer knew how to manipulate the system and was able to get out of taking either one of those tests, that's why this appeals court judge let him off. Basically because of that, and he was wearing Crocs. 
So if you're ever wearing Crocs and you do a field sobriety test, especially if you're in the state of Virginia, look this case up uh, because apparently you can't walk and it's very easy to stumble. They're not very supportive according to the judge. It's ridiculous. It was not problematic except for the speed. He also said the Crocs Hockaday was wearing do not provide a lot of support for the foot. And Hockaday did a good job of catching himself during the missteps, which the judge said he did not think Hockaday could have done if he was impaired. Caudill disagrees and stands behind his deputy's decision to make the arrest regardless of the outcome. Whenever you bring a case and it does not go as you anticipated. There's always some degree of disappointment. You always second guess what you could have done differently. I spoke with Craig Cooley and asked him if Russell Hockaday had anything he wanted to say about the case. Cooley then talked to Hockaday, who told Cooley that he would like to refer me to many of the facts presented by the defense on the day of the trial. Now, Henrico Human Resources told me back in October that Hockaday had been reassigned to an administrative assignment after his arrest. He has now been fully reinstated. Working for you in Henrico County, I'm Melissa Hippolyte for CBS 6. And we just learned that Hockaday is no longer with the Henrico Police Department. A spokesperson tells us that his last day on the job was last Friday. He has retired and that took effect today. Zach. So just real quick, he probably was going to get fired. The reason they retire is that way they can keep their pension. If they are fired, their pension goes way down. Thanks for supporting my channel and work. Links to all the platforms you can find questionable authority on are in the description below. And there's lots of ways to help me grow and dedicate more time to this channel. Of course, links to PayPal, Dash, Bitcoin, and others are listed. But you don't have to part with your capital to support me. There are ways like downloading the Privacy Minded Brave browser using my link below and using it for 30 days, or sign up for a new Hive or Steam account and earn cryptocurrency for yourself for doing what you already do on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and at the same time, I'll earn crypto for your upvotes and comments.